New York City, one of the United States' most recognizable cities. In September 2020, one of the many artistic landmarks of the city was repurposed. It was, the Metronome. You'll probably notice two things. One, a giant piece of artwork, by Kristen Jones and Andrew Hensel, that is supposed to convey instancy and infinity transience, and permanence all at once. While the pulsing nature of the artwork, is supposed to embody the city's energy elements, such as the massive piece of bedrock, symbolizing millennia of geological history, and the rippling centerpiece all come together, to help the viewer visualize one thing, time. Another thing you might notice is, the nearly 60 feet long display of digits, this digital facet of the artwork, is what allows it to be reprogrammed to fit such an occasion. Previously, it was used to display the time of the day, and the number of hours, minutes, and seconds, that remain in it, it is all fittingly titled, The Passage. But, on September 19, 2020, Metronome adopted a new ecologically, sensitive mission. Now, instead of measuring 24-hour cycles, it is measuring what two artists, Gon Golan and Andrew Boyd, present as a critical window for action, to prevent the effects of global warming, from becoming irreversible. The clock is showing, the time that Earth has left in our carbon budget, before given the current rate of emissions. We cross the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold, outlined by the IPCIN 2018. Now it all sounds like things people have heard before, scientists come up with numbers, they urge how important it is, and then people move on with their days. This is different. A complete depletion, would result in a total destruction, of our planet, and, it will have been at the fault of our own hands, if the Earth's temperature is increased by just 1.5 degrees Celsius, we feel its consequences, extreme heat waves, fire across the world, droughts in places there shouldn't be, and less and less of the one resource, on Earth, we all need, water. Then there's one final piece of the puzzle, climate change. The concern for climate change, is certainly nothing new, in fact, it's been with us, not for just the past few decades, but for centuries, British archaeologist Ian Morris, spoke at the World Economic Forum, to talk about how civilizations in the past, had collapsed. The incorporated modern-day scientific methods, excavation practices, and billions of artifacts, to dissect the collapse of previous civilizations, he concludes by saying that all major collapses tend to have five common factors, time and time again. Then numbers showed up, representing the years, days, hours, minutes and seconds until that deadline. Time had come, 7 years, 14 days, the passage takes away, second by second, to remind us the doors will too. Earth has a deadline, and it literally is up to us, everyone, to save it. We need to solve our energy problems, change our daily habits, and work together, to help undo the damage we've done.